this is Windows Journal and the first thing I'm going to do is go to View, Toolbars, check the standard toolbar so I can see my icons, View Toolbar Pen so I can see all my pen choices, View Toolbars Format so I can see all my colors, View Toolbars View and I can see the pen and the zoom in and zoom out. Okay, the next thing I want to do is set up my page. So I'm going to go to Tools, Options, and then here is where I check my default page setup. I want my paper to be, let's say, letter. The width, I'm going to leave it at 8.5 by 11. I want portrait, and the style, I can do college ruled. I can do narrow, ruled, standard. I'm going to go to standard. And I can change my lines in here. If I want to dot it or a solid line, etc. Background, this is if you want to customize your page. You can do bears in the middle. It gives you a preview on the right hand side. Graph, uh, orange circles, etc. So for now, I'm going to say none. You can also stretch the picture in your page, or tile it, or center it. I'm going to say apply and OK. I can set up my format font, click on format font, and I can select Arial, Italic, or Regular. I can change the size of my font, and I can also change the color. I'm going to stay with black and click OK. Apply and OK. Notice that it didn't apply. In order for all my changes to apply, I have to go to New Note. So I'm going to click on the first icon, New Note. There you go. And there it is. Now I have my default page set up. OK. I'm going to go ahead and click on the pen. If you click on the drop down menu, it's going to give you different choices on your pen. I'm going to go for medium point and I'm going to select the color black and I'm going to write Tuesday. Notice that, that with my default page I also get the date. It's a lot easier for taking notes. I'm going to click on my highlighter and you can also set your highlighter. I'm going to go to medium and then I, I can start writing. Here's my pen, that's my color, I can choose another color, I can go to my highlighter and highlight my text or my handwriting. The next icon is your eraser. Choose your eraser to be large or it can be medium, it can be very small or like a letter or something like that. And you can also have the stroke. If I do one stroke, everything goes away. I have my do and undo. I'm going to click on undo. Then I'm going to go to my lasso. And this is your selection tool. I'm going to select Tuesday. And I can move it around. I can place it wherever I want to. And at this point, I'm going to show you another thing you can do with journal. I can select my word, go to actions, and I can convert my handwriting to text. Notice that it gives me choices in here. I'm going to click OK. And do you want to copy it to the clipboard or do you want to insert in the same journal note? I'm going to go ahead and insert in the same journal note and finish. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and make my box a little smaller. There we go. And if I want to edit my text, I'm going to go ahead and tap again, select my text, and go to Edit Format Text. I can select another font. I can go to Bold. I can make it 20. I can make it another color. Click OK. Extend my box. And there it is. So you have your handwriting, your text, 
and your highlighter. Now if you want any more colors, you can go to the color chart and you can select something else that you may want. Let's say I want a very pale pink. I'm going to go to my pinks. Let's say that's what I want. I'm going to add it to the custom colors. Click OK. And now I have it right here for where, whenever I want it. 